pedaling the sound for Alzheimer's awareness. Last June, 72 year old Paul Hirsch paddled over 30 miles in his 19 foot kayak around Fox, McNeil and Anderson Islands to raise funds and awareness for Alzheimer's Association care, support and research programs. This is the second year he has participated in the longest day in honor of his mother who had Alzheimer's and his father who was her primary caregiver. The longest day is the day with the most light, the summer solstice. Every June, people from around the world fight the darkness of Alzheimer's through a fundraising activity of their choice. In 2020, Paul paddled around Bastion Island for the longest day, and this year he felt even more driven to support the cause, remembering his family members lost to dementia and hopeful for advances in Alzheimer's and dementia research. Paul lives in Gig Harbor on Wolachet Bay. He and his wife, Charlotte, have three daughters and 10 grandkids. Paul grew up an athlete. He ran marathons up until six years ago when he switched to competitive paddling. He now stays active by paddling hundreds of miles every year. He claims he got his athleticism from his mother. She would bubble over with athleticism and enthusiasm. She would challenge her grandkids to run 10Ks and stuff like that. She was a mother of seven and helped raise my kids and my nieces and nephews. She was the extrovert in the family. She challenged herself. She challenged her kids and her grandkids, he said. Ten years ago, Paul's mother died of Alzheimer's disease and his father died shortly after. Paul believes the stress of caregiving is what ultimately led to his father's death. My father was an obsessive caregiver, which I think also caused him to become a casualty of Alzheimer's. It's hard on the caregivers, he said. Losing his mother to the disease was hard for the whole family. It reaches beyond the primary caregiver and to the rest of the family. So the whole family got a little bit screwed up as a result of the thing, you know? And 10 years later, we are still trying to overcome some of those problems, he said. In addition to losing his parents, one of his wife's brothers died from the disease, and since last year's paddle, one of Paul's family members has been moved into memory care. The disease is one that Paul and his family know all too well. Being a grandpa of 10, Paul hopes he can bring Alzheimer's awareness to younger generations and that others will work to do the same. I think it would be good if we could find a way for our young kids to understand this disease a little bit more or at least be aware of it. I think kids need to understand that it's not just old age, it's a real disease that takes their family members, he said. He also wants to spread the message about the need to proactively take care of oneself physically and mentally. Challenge your mind and challenge your body no matter how old you are. Whether you are 8 or 88, you can still look for ways to challenge yourself. Making brain health a priority. Paul stays active to help keep his brain and body healthy. Growing evidence suggests that people can improve their brain health and reduce their risk of cognitive decline by adopting healthy lifestyle habits. The Alzheimer's Association offers these five suggestions to promote brain health and help restore mental well-being. Number one, exercise regularly. Regular cardiovascular exercise helps increase blood flow to the body and brain, and there is strong evidence that regular physical activity is linked to better memory and thinking. Number two, maintain a healthy heart diet. Stick to a meal scheduled full of fruits and vegetables to ensure a well-balanced diet. Some evidence suggests a healthful diet is linked to cognitive performance. The Mediterranean and DASH diets are linked to better cognitive functioning and help reduce risk of heart disease as well. Number three, get proper sleep. Maintaining a regular uninterrupted sleep pattern benefits physical and psychological health and helps clear waste from the brain. Adults should get at least seven hours of sleep each night and try to keep a routine bedtime. Number four, Stay socially and mentally active. Meaningful social engagement may support cognitive health, so stay connected with friends and family. Engage your mind by doing activities that stump you, 
by completing a jigsaw puzzle or playing strategy games, or challenge yourself further by learning a new language or musical instrument. And number five, control your stress before it controls you. Prolonged or repeated stress can wear down or damage the brain, leading to serious health problems, including depression, anxiety disorders, memory loss, and increased risk for dementia. Meditation, exercise, listening to music, or returning to a favorite activity you have missed during the pandemic are just some ways to manage stress. Do what works best for you. When possible, combine these tips to achieve maximum benefit. If it seems overwhelming, start with one or two changes and build on them gradually. The most important thing is that you start now. Visit alz.org backslash 10 ways for a full list of brain healthy tips. To learn more about the Alzheimer's Association, the longest stay initiative, visit alz.org backslash TLD.